I'm Corey Anderson, owner of Dakota Foundry in Webster, South Dakota. We make gray and ductile iron castings here, but we also have a unique program that we've launched called the Iron Warrior. This program is designed to teach the hands-on skilled apprentice style training of the foundry industry combined with intense character development pioneered and partnered with military special forces type training. And so it's a unique program where we're, we're making Iron Warriors the future generations in the foundry industry and, and in manufacturing and, and just building good, solid character folks into that industry. And so one of the things we need in our Iron Warrior program is some training equipment, particularly kettlebells. Well, with the whole pandemic, the COVID situation, a lot of people, a lot of gyms being shut down, people are buying equipment for their home gyms and kettlebells is one thing that there was a shortage of. So we went out and we're like, let's just design our own Iron Warrior kettlebells and use them in our training. And uh, we may even offer them for sale and all the profits and, and proceeds of those kettlebells will go to funding the education of future generations of foundry workers. So check out some of the, the project where we're making the tooling, we designed the kettlebells, designed our own tooling, we're making it all in-house, and uh, stay tuned. Appreciate you following. Hey, so I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Um, what we've got here is the CAM software that does our 3D machining programming. And so we're going to run a simulation of our CNC machine right here on the computer so we can see the actual finish of this part after it's going to be machined. So let's check it out. This is the actual model of the pattern that we're machining. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the machining ops on this thing. So we're going to start out with a three quarter inch end mill. That's going to rough, rough it down so you can just see a rough shape forming. And then our quarter inch radius mill comes in for the finish. And that's going to take it down to size and, and just machine every everything that it can get to, which will be basically be the whole part with the exception of the logo area and, and the numbers. So that'll be that'll be cut in with the smaller end mill. Now it's finishing up the simulation of that quarter inch finish pass and we're going to switch over to an eighth inch ball nose end mill and we're going to rough a little bit more of the lettering out. So there's that eighth inch cutting out the, you can see the 26 pounds getting etched out. And then it comes in, we're coming in with a 16th diameter end mill, a really small end mill with a ball nose. And we're going to finish up that lettering. And these are definitely not Minnesota Vikings kettlebells. I don't know why they picked these colors to simulate, but no, not, a, not Vikings. No, no. Hey, what's up? Doing some machining today, working on a mahogany pattern. We're going to do some drilling and tapping, get it faced off, mount this onto a fixture, and then we're going to do some 3D milling to make a, a pattern, a three-dimensional pattern. After we get this faced, then we're going to drill and tap some quarter 20 holes in 
and be ready to do the 3D milling. Hey, good morning everyone. So we're just getting ready to set up and we're gonna start running the 3D milling operation of these patterns that we're running. So we've got the, the stock models all drilled, tapped, the top end faced off. We've got a fixture made up. We're mounting the stock onto the fixture and we're gonna start running it. So I created a 3D milling program in a cam simulating software offline. And then we jump it over on a, on a USB stick. So we're ready to cut, let's go see it. So this is a roughing cycle. This cycle is going to last about two hours, a little over two hours. And this is a three quarter inch end mill, carbide end mill that we're running. We're feeding at about 85 uh, inches per minute. And the RPM is about 3300 spindle RPM. And so this thing is cutting hard, cutting good, and just eating this mahogany up. Hey, what's up everyone? So we've got our machining roughing pass completed on these and now we're moving over to the 3D milling with the finishing tool. We got a quarter inch carbide end mill with a, with a 60 thou quarter radius. And so that's what we're doing our finishing with. And this is gonna finish off our pattern to the exact geometry and shape that we need. Let's check out this printer. So you can see the, the different, different gates that are all gonna be single and then and then a double double couple double gates and then the big filter block. All that's being 3D printed. Boom. 